welcome to Wilderness at Table. We got a treat for y'all today. I am going to hunt my first alligator. Ooh, look at that. Oh my God! <laughs> 11 and a half, 12 foot alligator. Yep. So let me introduce you to our captains for the day. What an experience, huh? This is Captain David, y'all, and this is Captain Taylor. They are gonna help me get on my first alligator, right, boys? That's right. Right? That's right. You're, are we gonna take home dinner tonight? I guarantee it. Yeah? <laughs> we okay, have but they, fun. The most important question. How are we gonna get this thing that's on land in the water? Are you in for a treat? I'm in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. My name is Brie Van Scotter. I'm a professionally trained chef, author, and hunter. My mission is to create some of the most amazing wild game recipes with meat I gather on my hunting and fishing adventures. This is Wilderness to Table. In case you're wondering, alligator hunting was a blast. And yes, this airboat ride was as fun as it looks. Where am I? I'm in Zolfo Springs, Florida, home to the Peace River, one of the most popular alligator hunting locations in the country. My guides, David and Taylor, hunt alligators for a living, so yeah, I'm definitely going to defer to their expertise on this trip, but for now, I'm just enjoying the ride. A very beautiful perk of this alligator hunt was touring the river via airboat. I first thought that alligator hunting would take place in swampy, murky, yucky waters. The rivers were stunning. We saw sandhill cranes, we saw alligator nests, we saw beautiful, we saw an eagle. By the 1950s, endless hunting had almost wiped out the Florida alligator population. But through proper conservation, the population is now recovered and gator hunting is properly managed. However, in order to legally take an alligator, you must use approved methods by the state of Florida. Today we will be using a heavy duty rod and reel combo and some 200 pound test in order to hook the gator. Once it's hooked, you then have to reel it in next to the boat only once it's next to the boat can you finish the deal. And in case you're wondering, reeling in a gator is as hard as it sounds. Well, at least for me anyways. So we cast our rod out a few times and probably I'd say the third or fourth time after casting, I am hooked, like literally. Oh my God. Now reel down. There you go, see how easy that is? Now pull. Reel down. Let the rod do the work. You got it, lady. Oh, yeah. And reel down. There you go. And then pull, let the oh, rod yeah. do pull. There oh. you go. I have an alligator on the edge of my pole, and I have never felt anything pull so dang hard in my life. Work hard for these gator bites. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Stay on him. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another hey, run. Talk oh. about your tuna fishing now. Oh, my God. Uh. This tuna fish will bite you. <laughs> yeah. I have never hunted an alligator. And I'm going to be honest. It's because I don't want to die. And I feel like an alligator might kill me. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> don't watch your reel. Watch your rod. 11 and a half, 12 foot alligator. Yeah. <clears throat> oh 
<laughs> you know, the oldest one recorded on record is is in Orlando at 85 <laughs> years old. He was 13 feet. This dude right here is not a foot off of him. Oh my God. That's, that's a, a big, big that's a 12 foot alligator. That's a big gator. This is a deep pond. Ain't no telling how long he's been here. Pulling straight right. up. Oh my God, Horns I'm tight. <laughs> Pulling. Okay, y'all, I need a break. Let's pause for some random facts. An alligator will balance sticks and branches on their head, attracting birds looking for a nest. Old males can grow up to 15 feet long and weigh over 1,000 pounds. And lastly, an alligator can go through over 2,000 teeth in his lifetime. Wow. Here you come, here you come. Here you come. Let me have this rope, let me have this rope. Holy sh My guides on this alligator hunt were freaking awesome. David is full of stories and totally hilarious. And Taylor, boy, is he fearless. He is a man of few words, but that is okay. What's that, Taylor? And now we're gonna lasso him. Okay. What's next? <laughs> you gonna wrestle him? Oh, we're gonna just roll it. We're gonna wrestle him. He did take off. I reeled him in. He took off. I reeled him in probably for a good 20, 25 minutes. Jesus, so am I. Bring him up here, Tyler. I'm bringing him, son. Woo, woo. Uh, he might be 11. Wait till you see that head again. Yeah. Oh, only 11. If I can get his tail. There it is. Head there. Oh my God. Uh. Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to rope. Should have learned to rope gators and ride. David had lassoed the alligator. I mean, first we hook him, then we catch him, and then we lasso him. I mean, how many things can we do to this alligator? Right. Holy. All right, give him some slack. Hey, I do know how to rope. Give him some slack, David. Go ahead. Give him slack on the pole. I got the rope. You gonna pull the rod tip down? Not no more. You want? Let him pull oh my all God. drag off. Let him pull all drag off. All right. Give him slack. Let him roll. And then finally, I get him close enough to the boat. Taylor reaches in, grabs his tail, and then tries to bring the 11 foot alligator on board. But obviously, he's too big and he was still fighting. Then we kind of take the boat to the side, to the banks of the river. He's about ten and a half. Yeah, he ain't what I thought. Ten and a half. He ain't as big as I thought, but he's big. He's big. Hey, yeah. We got him. We're gonna put him up here on shore, and we'll talk about him. Okay, come on. <laughs> See if you get that hook out of him. There it is. Watch oh, his head. My God. And then I find myself somehow sitting on top of an 11-foot alligator holding its mouth. See right on his back? Watch that hook, there's a hook right here. See him? See. Reach up and grab him, here. Pull his head straight back. Sit back on him. Back on, Both you got a live alligator. He's a live guy. Oh Come on. Bree, you're the one. Live gator. Pull it hard. Come on back with him. He's a live guy. Live gator. I don't even know what to say right now. If he takes off with you, uh, just step just, to the side, okay? <laughs> just hold on to him. He'll just take you for a ride. No! It's moments like this that makes me question my life decisions. <laughs> you ever seen Sea no, World? No, that's scary, okay. Hey, where they rode Shamu? No, I don't yeah. want to ride Shamu. This, this one will bite you. <laughs> Holy, oh my God, I never thought so I'd So you look here, Bree. look right here. From here to here, what do you guesstimate in inches? 
112 over well, 12. 11 to 12 11. inches, so that's a, this is 11 plus foot alligator, and that's Holy. always within a few inches. That's always. how you judge it? That's how you judge it, always. Holy awesome. This is just you. a big old prehistoric dinosaur is what this is. Great, thanks guys. Man, thanks, but that's guys. cool. Bye, Crocky, you did it. Oh God, you're gonna pull it out while I have him? Oh well, yeah, I don't wanna pull it out when I got Keep him. his head up so he don't bite Taylor, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't let him bite me. <laughs> Now, this is how we catch them alive when we trap oh them, guys. God. This is exactly My what we do. Really so. I can't. Look at the tooth right here. Look at the size of these teeth. Oh my God. They hurt when they go through you. I've had them in there. I box. never in my life, I never thought I'd be on top of an alligator. <laughs> yep, you've got him by yourself right now. I was after a younger alligator because I wanted to use them for dinner. So I definitely didn't want all the fat that the older alligators have. All right, let's okay. uh, let's let's hop Should off. Let's him let him off? back. Let's let's let him what go. What do I do? Okay. Well, right. I'm gonna show you how to let him go. Okay. All right, let's let him go. Don't stress him out too bad here. Okay. Uh, thanks. That's a beautiful animal, y'all. Yeah, we're out here in the Florida swamp, amazing. and we just did something that with Bree that we usually do with uh, alligator trappers. <laughs> Oh my God, Good job. Guys. Look at him, he does not like us right now. See Holy you, dude. Holy moly. Wonderful, good job, man. Dude, you guys what do an experience. this all the time. <laughs> what an experience, huh? I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> I'm slightly shaking. Hey, you're the one that did it. Arms are awesome tired job, over just awesome my job. Ass on an alligator. Mm, awesome job. I don't know about you, but I was glad to see him go. He did not look happy. And now we're off to do what I really came here for. For the best tasting meal, we need a gator in the six foot size range. Why? Because gators in the six to seven foot range are supposed to be the best tasting. And I want to find out why. Yeah, this is what we do. We just try to, these gators are so wild. You guys they don't go, whack people with those hooks, do you? They go under, he's got one. He's got Holy. One. You got him. All right, give it a break. Hey, there it is, break him. Take it, break Oh my God. You're good. You're loosen your drag a little bit. Don't let him have any slack, Bree, okay? Holy Don't let him have any slack. Keep him tight. Keep him tight. Oh my God. Watch that hook, watch that hook. I Stay can't with even him. Stay with turn him. it. Stay with there him. you go, turn your hand around. Just hold, yep, there turn you go. Just like that. Oh my God. If he goes to the side, come around with him. There you go. Oh, oh, hey, oh, you good. Good. Relax, no, just relax. Don't let him have any slack now. No, no slack. I'm trying to drive. Yeah, you're, you're good, you're good, you're good. No, it ain't either, that's gonna be a good one. There you go, bring it around. Oh my God. There you go. Hey, yeah, you can. Get him, oh get him, get him, really. Don't give him a break. I'm going to need a break. No, you don't neither. Come on. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Not yet. You're the gator lady. You're the gator lady. Come on. Just an FYI, I'm obviously not the gator lady because right, this well, gator right. was about to yank me into the water and make me a deep fried gator bite. Oh. Stay with him, sister. Stay with him. All right, reel up when he's reeling. Okay, reel up when he's reeling. I'm trying. Come on up when he's reeling. He's smaller than you think, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got him. Hold on. All right, all right. What do we got? Yeah, he's good. He's good. Okay, Bree, get ready. Oh, stop, stop, Heather. Let her, let her. How are we going to kill her? Nice. You got him? Yeah. Nice. You want to do it with a knife? All right. Let me have this. Surprisingly, harvesting a Florida gator from a boat is easier and more humane by simply severing its spine at the base of its neck with a knife. In doing so, the gators are typically put down instantly. Thanks to David and Taylor, my little gator expedition was a success. But with wild game, there's always more to the story than meets the eye. So David and Taylor, you told me to go ahead and kill this size gator. 
because you knew I wanted to eat it. So why this size? Why he's what, about six and a half feet? He's probably close to seven. Seven, seven and a half feet? Seven, so two, seven, three. So why wouldn't I have gone for like the 10 foot or plus? These are much better eaten, much more tender. So how, and how old do you think he is? How old is he? 10 yeah, plus. He's probably 10, 10 plus years old, guys. Okay. Um, when an alligator is born, they're born around six inches long. And each year, depending on the water temperature, you're gonna get a gator to grow a little slower in here because this water's a lot deeper. Um, with warm temperatures, they grow maybe a couple, three, four inches a year when they get 10 feet and on. This guy will okay. grow pretty swift. By the time he's two years old, you'll get a gator that's about 24 inches, maybe. Okay. 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 Five years old, three feet, six, seven, you got, a, you got a gator that's close to 10 years old right here. So he's just like like younger does or younger bucks and all that. They're gonna eat a lot better at suckling pigs. We all know that. Yeah, he's got, he's got very little fat on him. He's very active still at his at his age. So, you know, the meat's not gonna be as fatty as a big old 10 no. foot. And why so. don't you want a fatty alligator? Eh, it's not that it's fatty. They're just big, tough, and they're, huh. they're musky. And their fat is not you know, like they're a musky. hog. Yeah, they, they, their fat is not like a hog. It's much more slimy. It is not, and it's like not, their fat is not good to eat. Yeah. at all um super cold blooded animal have you touched that blood i did that's why they sit up here on the bank during the winter time warm and up. suck up the heat they, they they warm their blood and then they can survive the night you know gators seem to be rampant here in this part of florida has this always been the case you know not really in the early 1970s the late 60s the alligator population here in florida was almost extinct really well we were poor stewards of the land it was a different time we, were, mm -hmm. we, were, we didn't have the management we have now you know, the state of Florida had some great biologists. They came in, they realized two big factors. We were not regulating them right at all. We were poor stewards, we were over hunting them. And then the other factor was the big males, the bull gators right. are cannibals. Okay, they, they look at, uh, at another gator like I'd look at a ribeye, <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? So, so the, they realized that, so they, they, they got very good uh, 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 laws in place and, and they started working on the big, big males so that and the babies can grow. We're back to almost to 2 million. After a 200 million year run on planet Earth, the alligator population was in serious trouble. By the 1950s, demand for the hides and uncontrolled hunting in the Southeast almost wiped them out. Three decades later, alligator populations are now fully recovered, making it one of the first endangered species success stories. The main threat to these reptiles today is habitat loss caused by increasing residential and commercial development. They would send guys like us out. We would, we would have a piece of property with helicopter and a biologist with a state biologist. We surveyed the property, we GPS the nests. Mm -hmm. And if let's say there was 50 nests on this piece of property, we were allowed to take 25 of them and empty them completely out. And that sounds okay. like, oh my God, what'd you do? You know, you're, you're taking all of them out of the environment. Well, what that did, the 25 nests that were left quadrupled in population, what that 50 would have done. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that helped bring them back also to the, to the, you know, million and a half to 2 million they are now. So you did know. they ever put like a permits give permits for hunting bull alligators so they're not they do going that now they do the that now but the, the the state puts puts guys like us trappers in place mm -hmm. and we're able to go out and catch them but now you're allowed the state has a season on them um it's it's from august to november okay. um, that's a public water season if you are a trapper like we are we're year round we okay. have no season gotcha. so we're able to harvest them but the big bull gators uh, right now, they're, I mean, it's as strong and healthy as it's ever been. Florida is now home to more than 20 million people and 1.3 million alligators. Humans have built houses, golf courses, and resorts in places that are on the edge of alligator habitats. They well, David, will. let's talk my favorite part about why I'm here, and All that's right. food. All right. Okay. So, this is my first seven foot alligator. I have cooked alligator meat and I have. I've eaten it and I loved it. What are your favorite parts? Now we're starting to talk meat, my favorite part of the hunt. And after a long day of wrestling alligators, I was looking forward to getting back to camp and preparing our haul for the kitchen. Fortunately, I had David and Taylor with me to help process my gator and getting the best cuts we could use for my recipe. With the experience I have with them, inside this tail area mm -hmm. is an inner loin. This outer meat is, is decent. 
Right. Inside of this tail is filet mignon of an alligator. Really? Yes. Okay. And what about what we're going to cook tonight? I am choosing to cook the jowls of the alligator because Taylor here says they're phenomenal too. Pretty good. So how big are, how much meat are we getting off of these So you're jowls? looking here, that's what you get. I mean, you're so it's probably, probably a like, turkey breast or bigger on both sides. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's a pile of meat. I learned a lot today. I learned that alligators don't always live in dark, murky swamps. The natural beauty and the breathtaking scenery down Florida's Peace River made this trip fun with or without the gators. But the most important lesson was that gator hunting makes you hungry. And now I'm ready to cook. So it's super late tonight, but I just have to cook this alligator. So we're inside the lodge tonight because I really don't feel like getting bitten up by mosquitoes tonight. But I promise you, you're gonna have a wonderful alligator recipe. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my jowl and we are gonna make an Asian-inspired marinade and we're gonna serve it over ginger scallion rice and it's gonna be delicious and it's super easy. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna start by trimming up and cutting the jowl meat. I'm just gonna place this over here. I'm gonna remove any tissue that may be hard or tough. There's this little membrane on here, if you can see. That's what I'm gonna take off. I don't want that because most times those don't cook off, which means when you go to eat it, it's gonna be super chewy and tough. So we are just gonna take those off. There's one more right there. And then this is inspired by like Chinese takeout, but it has a little bit of a Korean twist on it. So what I'm gonna do is cut it up into little pieces that we can easily bite into. We're gonna cut off any tissue that we don't want. Don't want these ones. This is the pile that we do want. This is super easy. We're gonna saute it in a pan and it's only gonna take no longer than five to seven minutes. But first, in order to make sure our alligator has a plenty of flavor, I'm going to quickly marinate it in a vacuum sealed bag. It's just gonna intensify all the flavors into the meat because we have little time to cook and I wanna feed everybody. So it's just gonna make sure that all those flavors are in the meat quickly. So, we're almost done. Then, let's cut that piece off. And I'm gonna get all my meat into the bowl, just a large mixing bowl. And I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt, not too much because I'm gonna be using soy sauce and that has a lot of salt already in it. Season with black pepper. Then I'm gonna go around the key to a good Asian dressing, I feel, is the balance between salt and sweet. And so I'm going to be adding just a little bit of sugar into my marinade. And then I'm adding about two tablespoons of minced garlic that I've already chopped and about one tablespoon of minced ginger. Then we're gonna add our soy sauce. We're going to add about a cup of soy sauce. Get that in the bowl. It's super easy. Then for a little bit of a nutty flavor, I'm gonna add a dash of sesame oil and about one to two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. And then this is one of my favorite ingredients. It's gojujang. It's actually a Korean red pepper paste. It's kind of hot, kind of not. I like something spicy, but it's my favorite and I'm gonna add it into this dish. We're gonna do a little, I like about a tablespoon. I think it's absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna use a spoon and I'm gonna stir it all together just to infuse those. And then I'm going to add just a few chopped scallions to the mix. I'm also gonna use them as garnish later, but I just want that light, subtle onion flavor in there as well. So we get those going in there. Okay, it was that easy. Now I'm gonna use this 
portable vacuum sealer. I'm gonna put it all in the bag and then we're gonna vacuum seal it and let it marinate for about 30 to 45 minutes. That was the first, that was the closest I've ever been to a wild alligator and it took everything I had to not pee my pants. Cause let's be honest, it's a freaking alligator and he's 11 foot, he was huge. I have a heated pan, nice and hot, and I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of oil just so that nothing sticks to the pan. This is just a little bit of peanut oil. It's gonna add a dash in there, just about a couple tablespoons. Then I'm going to dump the whole thing, the gator meat and marinade and all. I want it to cook in that beautiful marinade. Now, I'm just gonna help it out and gently stir fry it. So the smell of garlic is intense. There's some onions and that soy sauce. It's smelling just like my favorite Chinese takeout right now. Okay, we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that cook through. I'm gonna flip the gator meat about halfway when I think it's cooking just so that they cook evenly on all sides. We're gonna give that a few minutes to cook. So my alligator is cooked through and my marinade has now acted as a sauce and has thickened up. So now we are ready to plate. I'm gonna bring this over here. Then I have already made white rice to go on the bottom of our alligator. But we're gonna jazz it up just a little bit while this sits. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar to my rice and just a dash of sesame oil because we have to flavor every stage. I'm gonna season it with just a little bit of salt and a little bit of soy sauce. And now I'm gonna mix those all together and then we're going to plate it up. Okay, we are ready to serve. Let me get a plate. Here we go. We are going to put some rice down first. We're gonna do a little bit of family style with this one. So I'm just gonna put a big thing of rice right in the middle. Then I'm going to top it with our alligator jowl. Look at that, beautiful. Then I'm just going to go over it with a quick little drizzle of soy sauce, just because salt brings out everything. Then I'm gonna garnish it with a few chopped scallions. A few, I like a lot. So, you know, there we go. And that is it. We are ready to serve. Voila, my alligator gel is a Korean barbecue alligator gel with ginger scallion rice. Have you ever had alligator like Chinese takeout? That's, that's Even amazing. though it's a little bit of Korean in there? You gotta admit, that's amazing. Yeah. I got my new favorite drink. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's amazing. You have to know. I've never had alligator. I've had a lot of alligator. Uh huh. We eat a lot of alligator fried. Alligator cooked a lot. Yeah. That's awesome. No gag reflex. <laughs> good at <Hey>. it. <laughs> I'm impressed. That's very good. I got to have another piece. Go for it. Help Get yourself. Help yourself. Yeah, help yourself. Right that's amazing. One thing that I love most is no matter where you are from or what you do, the one thing that brings people together is food. And that's what I love most about what I do. Getting to meet new people and sharing an adventure is just icing on the cake. Or as I like to say, the soy sauce on the gator. Next time on Wilderness to Table. Oh, <laughs>
Stay right here. Holy, that is a bear. Here, here. Why are you shaking? Because it's a big ass hog that's three times my size. Welcome to Let's Talk About It, where tacos are my jam. And today I have a jamming taco for you. I certainly do. I have alligator meat and we are gonna make buffalo alligator tacos based on my favorite chicken buffalo wings. So, are you ready? Let's go. Here's my alligator meat that I, yes, I harvested myself. So we're gonna get this into the pan. First, we're gonna add a little bit of butter. Help the alligator out. You know what, I'm gonna go full force and I'm just gonna do two pats of butter. We're gonna let that melt. Swoosh it around. Beautiful. I'm gonna get my alligator meat in there. This alligator was such a fun hunt, y'all. Oh my goodness. It was awesome. I will never, ever, ever forget this hunt. And now, I'm using his tail to make a taco. Okay. I cut the alligator into small little pieces just so it'll cook really fast. I'm gonna put this dirty dish over here. Then we're going to season with salt and pepper. Season at every chance you can get. I'm sure my crew is sick of hearing me to say that. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little more salt. We're going to give it a little toss so that they cook on all sides. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit. It's gonna cook pretty fast. Probably cook as fast as chicken does. I'm just turning all the little bits so they all get cooked and are delicious. I made the jowl last time I was cooking alligator. That was a pretty fun meat to cook. And I'm gonna tell you why it was so fun. I have never had a piece of meat bite back at me. And when I say bite back at me, I mean when I was going to cut slices of the alligator, the alligator meat was contracting and moving still. Mm-hmm, yeah. You do that on camera and you try to keep a straight face. It was pretty difficult. It moved. Again. <laughs> it's so weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so crazy, okay? I'm sorry, guys. No, that was. Good. That would freak me out too. That was weird, because it was like beating in my hand. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start all over with the Chinese takeout. <laughs> this is so weird, you guys. <laughs> okay, anywho, it's, it's still moving. I'm gonna get over it. Okay. So this dish is inspired by Chinese takeout. So what I'm gonna... Oh! I know, but it's really weird. <laughs> okay. But this time, this alligator, he was gone. He didn't fight back. <laughs> so it's all good. So we're gonna let this saute for a little bit longer. In the meantime, we're gonna work on our toppings. I have cabbage and I'm gonna do what I always do to any cabbage that I top with tacos. I'm going to take a little bit of white distilled vinegar and I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit on top. It just gives it this bright acid flavor. But if you don't have distilled white vinegar in your kitchen, you can always use lemon juice, like a teaspoon of lemon juice to your cabbage and it just like changes the whole dish. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Then I'm just gonna mix it all together. And then my cabbage is ready to go. And then buried in my garnishes I have here, we're gonna do some sliced green onion. We're gonna chop the scallion really quick.
So this taco is totally a take on like my favorite bar food. <laughs> and by bar food, I mean like when I was in college and all I could afford was chicken wings. <laughs> Ooh, my alligator is getting some beautiful color on it. Just what I want to see. Okie doke. Now, to finish it all off, I'm actually going to add a little bit of more butter. Because you know how butter and buffalo sauce just go beautifully? So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now I'm going to add the buffalo sauce to my pan. Oh yeah. Just like that. Give that a stir. Get it all coated. Let that sauce thicken up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put that on low heat right now while I get my tortillas warmed. A little bit of olive oil on my pan. Paint the tortillas with some olive oil. Last one. There we go. We're going to get those on both sides. Check on my alligator. That sauce is reducing. I want the buffalo sauce to reduce slightly because I want to make sure that it sticks to that beautiful alligator meat. Because when you have chicken that's fried, buffalo chicken that's fried, the batter on the fried chicken actually helps the sauce to stick, but we don't have that here. We didn't, we're shining, we're using alligator in all its glory without any batter. So that sauce is just gonna thicken up. I think it's about ready to I can turn these bad boys. So we got these tortillas all done. Then we are ready to plate. I have a plate. I'm gonna turn this off. One last stir. Oh, so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna plate my buffalo alligator. Just like this. Just like this. A little bit of cabbage on each. Gotta make it pretty. Gotta make it pretty. Yeah. Because you always get carrots. A little bit of carrots. You always get carrots when you order buffalo chicken wings, you know, celery and carrots. There we go. And a little bit of blue cheese crumbles. Y'all didn't think I forgot about the sauce now, did ya? Nope, I didn't. There you have it. Buffalo alligator tacos, y'all. If you think these buffalo alligator tacos rock, then you should head over to Sportsman's Guide and check out all my wild game recipes. Mm -hmm.